Hi, right, YouTube. Hello. I am on WikiLeaks Twitter feed right now, and they have recently released a leaked email between Jake Sullivan and Hillary Clinton. Jake Sullivan was a foreign policy advisor to Hillary Clinton when she was Secretary of State. And in the email, he wrote, See last item. Al-Qaeda is on our side in Syria. Otherwise, things have basically turned out as expected. Now, we know that Al-Qaeda, that the U.S. has funded Al-Qaeda. We are currently funding them in Yemen right now, which is really sad. And I will post a link in, in the description, but I did a video a while back called 50 Things I Hate About Obama. And in it, one of the things I wrote that I hate about Obama is how he funded and weaponized a, a rebel group in Syria that turned out to be a sect of ISIS. We know from Rand Paul saying numerous times on the debate stage and also just in general that the U.S.'s policy is the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And that doesn't work. What we notice right now is that the majority of the weapons that ISIS has are in fact U.S. weapons. And not, not just left over in Iraq after we abdicated Iraq, but what we specifically gave them to use against their leader. That's, that's the whole point of the foreign policy that we have. We don't want to get our hands dirty, so we fund rebels. We fund the enemies of our enemies, and we hope that they will take out their leaders for us. It is just like the movie Lord of War with uh, Nicolas Cage, which is a good film, by the way. But that doesn't make sense at all. We have to really understand. We have to stop doing that because when you deal with radical Islam, when you deal with Islamic terrorists, they don't. They will never be friends with the West, ever, ever. They can lie to you all they want, but when it comes down to it, they will rather kill you than their own leaders. They would kill you just. They would willingly kill you just as much as they would kill their leader. We try this with Gaddafi. We try this with Assad. The whole point that's the whole reason why ISIS is so prominent in Syria right now is because they have great weapons that were used that were given to them by the U.S. So this whole notion now that we can trust these people to do our bidding in a surreptitious manner so we can keep our hands clean is really coming to the forefront, especially now with this uh, WikiLeaks release. I think more people are starting to catch on that, hey, wait a second here. We are aligning ourselves with terrorist groups that are bad news, that are bad news and that we should not be dealing with. There are many YouTubers out there who have discussed these things in the past, and but when it comes down to it, at a mainstream level, this is really not common news here. So hopefully now, WikiLeaks has, I think, like 4 million followers. Hopefully the word spreads more that, hey, Hillary Clinton here and Jake Sullivan, they're, even admitting, they're admitting that Al-Qaeda is on our side. The implication being is that we are working with a terrorist organization. For what reason? simple to overthrow Assad. That would be the only logical explanation why we are working with a terrorist sect who is responsible, if you believe in 9-11, actually believe in it, who is responsible for the World Trade Center on 9-11. We are working with them to overthrow a dictator because we don't like him. Hmm. Kind of makes you think. If we are willing to work with a group that killed 2,500 of American citizens in one day, what else are we willing to do? What else will the deep state, then the Council of Foreign Relations, do to actually gain a foothold in the Middle East? This is all about globalization. That's all it is. Globalists, they want position in the world. They want power in the world. That's why they're willing to put people's lives at risk by giving our enemies weapons to use against another enemy. But then those weapons get turned around and used back on us. And they don't care. And they hide it from the public. Well, the news is starting to get out. The news is now getting out, and people are starting to wake up. Once again, I will post a link in, in the description, and I'm done.